Hello, you guys. Welcome and welcome back to your girl's channel. Okay, let's check off another comedy movie. What about Bob? This one came out in 1991. Let me know if you have ever watched it. This is my first time, okay? Directed by Frank Oz. I feel like we have heard him before on a movie. Okay, so this one is rated 70%. Let me know what you would rate it. Of course, through the movie, you're gonna get my review, my reaction, just like everybody else. And full link throughout should be in the link down description. And if it does make it on YouTube, smash like button, you guys, and hit that red one. It goes a long way for your girl and the channel. With that being said, let's check another comedy movie off the list. Let's explore it. Let's go. What about Bob? I feel good. I feel great. I feel wonderful. Good morning, Gil. I said good morning, Gil. Don't forget to feed him. I forgot to feed mine. It was upside down when I came back home. Look at the slim haul. Yeah, that would give me anxiety. Like, no, I couldn't do that every day. No way, no way, no way. <laughs> How did we end up on the ground? My publisher thinks it's going to happen. Yeah, he thinks Good Morning America is coming up to Lake Winnipesaukee next week to interview me. <laughs> Big moves. Boy, they sure do come out of the woodwork when you're famous. <laughs> Stay humble. <laughs> Stay humble. I don't have a case, is it, Carswell? He's not psychotic, is he? No, no, nothing like that. No, listen, uh, his name is uh, Bob Wiley. I suppose I could find an hour for him sometime after Labor Day. Okay, I'll... Uh, I'll work him in for an interview. Free. Oh, he's free. <laughs> Claire, if a free Bob Wiley calls, schedule him for a oh, short wait. interview. He's already called. Up. That's persistence. Yeah, that that was quick. It's still great. Fast. I feel wonderful. I feel good. Second elevator, 44th floor. Thank you. Elevator? 44th floor. No, like, I would feel bad doing that. <laughs> he just cleaned. I'll catch the next one. <laughs> he makes it more awkward. Why don't you sit down? It'll be a few minutes. Oh, wait, let me guess. I'm very good at this. Uh, Gretchen. Uh, wait, wait a second. Dorothy. Bambi. Bambi. The simplest way to put it, I have problems. It kind of helps, it kind of don't. I have a real big problem moving. Weird. Anxiety. Talk about weird. Blurred vision, involuntary trembling, dead hands. What if my heart stops beating? Have you ever heard of Tourette's syndrome? It's exceptionally rare. Bastard! Douchebag! Why exactly yeah. are you doing this? Why'd you... If I fake it, then I don't have it. But is it called for? <laughs> but is it called for, Bob? Those who like Neil Diamond and those who don't. My ex-wife loves him. Your wife did not leave you. You left her because she liked Neil Diamond. Yeah, I think you should have stuck it out. Ow. Oh, that hurts. Ow. <laughs> that hurts. <laughs> I can help you. Yes. Thank you. Exactly how it could help. Baby steps. Baby steps? For instance, um, when you leave this office... And when you get to the hall, deal with that hall. Baby step. <laughs> no, he's taking baby steps, literally. Steps <laughs> around the office. That should give you a lot to digest vacation? while I'm on vacation. Other man just vacation? went on vacation. That's a month. Just read baby steps. Baby steps out of the office. Very good. Bill the usual rate for the interview and uh, $29.95 for the what? book. Charge me for a book you gave me. I'm sorry, Mr. Wiley, but Dr. Mark uh, is it's out of Bob, town. and you are? Betty. <laughs> Betty. Betty, hi. Bob, Dr. Marvin's out of town, and Dr. Harmon's taking his calls. We I know it. that, Betty, but you could call him on the other line. Thanks, Betty, please. Thank you, sweetheart. Yes? Dr. Marvin? This is Dr. Marvin. What's the problem, Bob? Dr. Marvin, how's the weather up there? It's good. What? How's your brood? Go to the emergency room, and if it isn't, call Dr. Harmon. I'm sure he can help you. What, you, you want to keep Maine all to yourself? Goodbye, Bob. Put her through. 
go ahead. <gasps> Bob, no, look, look. It's not you, it's me. It's both of us. The patient relationship is based on trust. When you call me and pretend to be my sister, I can't trust you anymore. Betty, I think he found you. Who is it? I wouldn't put it past. Detective Roberts from Homicide. <laughs> Unfortunately, Bob committed suicide about 15 years. That is so wrong. Uh, uh, do Dr. Marvin's on vacation in New Hampshire. New Hampshire? Oh, yeah. I can get him on the phone for you. Good. P.O. Box 14. Yes. Lake Winnipesaukee. Thank you very much, ladies. I'm crazy about you, especially you. Betty, catch on to his voice. <laughs> All right. Thank you for calling, Betty. Bob died. It was the service patient, the one who called before. Mm -hmm. He committed suicide. This whole ride is going to be an explosion of overthinking. You can do it. You think you can do it today, Come. Bob? We have a baby schedule to keep. Hello, I'm Bob. Would you knock me <laughs> out, please? Whoop his ass. <laughs> Would you knock me out, please? So I can just go to sleep and not think about it. We're going to be a short interview anyway. Just me and the family and my book. Why did we get all this food? <laughs> Look, they have an A of y'all. Hey, is someone calling you? Run. The person that's supposed to be dead. Betty fired. <laughs> Is this a bad time? You know it is. You know. You know it is. Oh. Oh, no. I told you. Well, I fibbed a little bit, but don't be mad. Bob, <laughs> your behavior is completely inappropriate. You're angry. Totally paralyzed. I'm all locked up. You got yourself here. Barely. Get, get no. yourself back. Getting back will be therapeutic. Need, oh, I this need, makes my need, head hurt. Need, Bob, give me, give okay, me, okay. Please, all right, all right, please. all right. Look at his face now. He was just throwing a tantrum. All right, it's two o'clock. Wait for me in that coffee shop. You'll meet me. Call you at four o'clock. You couldn't possibly make it three thirty, could you, Bob? Dad, four o'clock. Sit Baby down. Step to four o'clock. He, he's new in town. Give him a break. Hey, no, no, no! I, I'm expecting a phone call. Thank you. I said I was here. Dr. Early. Leo Marvin? Do you know him? Grabbed it out from under us. Son of a bitch. She never says that. We'll <laughs> show you where he lives. <gasps> you will? No. <laughs> she. Two. Three. Three. Spring. <laughs> we don't want to touch the water. With all the horror that's going on in the world, <laughs> what difference does it make? Here he comes. Thursday night, 7 o'clock. Don't forget. Okay, bye-bye. Yes, I'd like the number to the Gutman's Coffee. He here. Oh my gosh, no. <laughs> I don't think he was going to come either. Completely inappropriate. Dad, can I, um... Oh, Hi, you're Anna, aren't you? I saw your picture. I'm Bob. And younger. Oh, thank you. Hey, Anna, would you please excuse us? I'm sorry about barging in here like this. That's all right. I understand. Just because I do. <laughs> vacation. Uh -huh. Oh, I guess it screams vacation. <laughs> now, don't give me pills. I already have pills. Uh, 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 this is not pills. Not a vacation from your work and not a vacation from your daily life, but a vacation... But I can't, I can't leave my mind. My mind cannot leave me. I want you to take that prescription out and follow it to the letter, doctor's orders. It feels right because you're here. And it feels right because you're leaving. <laughs> like now. <laughs> Have a great like, vacation. Bye. Well, that's a very nice likeness of you. Thank you very much. It's very nice. Of everyone, you. actually. Bye, Bob. Bye, bye, Bob. Bye, Bob. Bye, bye. Bye. Bye, bye. Bye. <laughs> For the 20th time. It's different. Uh-huh. Need fish. I think I do look younger than that picture. Morning, Dr. Marvin. He on no, vacation. What did you food. expect? They're for Faye. <laughs> for yesterday, for your hospitality to Gil and me. I didn't say thank you. I'm a little anxious because I haven't figured out how to get food yet, but I'm staying at the Gutman's. When I told them what you said, they insisted. 
No, 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 no. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> he can enjoy the nature. <laughs> Nobody here. Leave me alone. I'm all by myself. Hi, Bob. Hi. Going to town. Nah, all jokes aside, Bob is not that bad. He just extra as hell. <laughs> Buy some Kleenex. He touched it. It's it's a it's a beginning. It's a step. <laughs> Baby step. Like what? Like what? Well, like analyzing everything to death to see if what I'm feeling is normal. <laughs> yes, I have that. Temporarily out of order. You know, don't Compared break the connection. Telephones. Just hang up and try again. And does it work? It seems to be. I'm on vacation, Taylor, and the craft is seaworthy. Yes, I will go sailing. Yeah, let's go sailing. <laughs> I have no other plans. We I cannot. Uh... How is everybody else feeling? I'm not ready. Don't drop me. I'm not ready. He drops you. Don't With your daughter. <laughs> I sail. You don't. He don't. I you're not even now. just patient. It's sailing, Bob. Because yeah, he is. Way. He is crossing that boundary the with the family. It's personal now. You know, invading our space. He stalked us all the way here. Like that's harassment. I mean, at this point, honestly, this goes against the guidelines <laughs> of a patient and a therapist. I mean, if we're being honest, all jokes aside. Uh with the wind of the wind and with the sky and everything. I am just having fun with my friends. And Bob Wiley. Yes, and Bob Wiley. Bob Wiley is your father's patient. Bob Wiley is a very sensitive person. Yep. He is fun! What? Going on national television tomorrow as an expert in human behavior. And in the space of the last hour, both of my children have told me that they hate me. I was insensitive and I didn't listen. And it wasn't any fun. And then Bob Wiley was. I mean, I nearly drowned. My whole life flashed before my eyes. With diving, what is the, uh, what's the thing? What's the trick? I don't know. It's supposed to be easy. To the edge. My He's gonna make the little boy dive, huh? To the edge. Or not make him, but he Come was here. gonna want Let's to. Let's call this the edge, right? Okay. Lean, lean. Wait, I can't see what you're doing. I got it. <laughs> All right. Bend my knees. Bend your knees. Or he didn't want to do it for him. I don't want to do it. <laughs> See this, no, please. One. No. He about to do it. Two. Don't do it. Yes. He did it. Yeah. Very nice, Bob. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, he's happy. I'll take it from here. Oh, Very nice. <gasps> That's your patient. Oh. Why did you push Bob? <laughs> He does have a life jacket on. He's learning to swim. Uh, look, everybody, I'm not wrong often, but when I am, I admit it. I mean it. You pushed him. I apologize to Bob. Good. <laughs> that was his apology. And now I'd like him to go. That was your apology? <laughs> Raise your eyebrows. Hey, I want to think about my interview tomorrow. I'm sorry. Wrong is wrong. <laughs> mm. Mm. He enjoying the food. Mm. Mm. Pile it high and deep, will you please? Could you get that tomato off there, please? Really? <laughs> But you said in your office that I could call you Leo. That was in my <laughs> office. In my home. I'd like you to call me Dr. Martin. Fucking proof of that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he choking. <gasps> no, he choking on a chicken. <coughs> Don't panic. I know what to do. Are you going to save him? Yeah, I'm leaving the house. I'm leaving the family. I'm going back home. <laughs> no, now he spent the night. <laughs> Dr. Marvin's refrigerator. <laughs> Honey, he can't walk home in this. 
Did I say that? I'll drive him. Oh, Dad, the car's still at the marina. He can borrow my slicker. Just go to bed. You won't see him anymore. You won't. Just go to bed. Good morning, America. We'll be here at 7 o'clock. It's you 1 a.m. I really disturbed patients sleeping on one of my couches. When Bob, we'd love for you to spend the night. That's a great idea. Do you have a Dacron pillow? Well, I prefer facing southeast. This, the snippy? It is not that that is making me snippy. What is it? It's him. Him? Bob. Bob? <laughs> yes, Bob! Uh, 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 a mass murderer. No, he really could. <laughs> we might not see it in him, but he, he, he really could. <laughs> Harmless. Maybe a little neurotic, but, but not crazy. Don't you realize that everything he's done violates the doctor-patient list? He has to finger brush his teeth. And there's no way out of it. You're so He's young. Going to die. I'm going to die. Me too. I'm going to die. You You're are going to too. die. Snap face! Vulture vomit! <laughs> Turkey! I would be the same way. Tourette's. <laughs> Tourette's. Tourette's. Stop. We just got carried away. It'll, it'll never happen again. I want you out of here by 6.30. Okay. No, I'll be quiet. I'll be peace. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Bob. Get up. Bob. Bob is not. Come on, Bob. Out. Bob, rise and shine. Come on. I only had like five hours of sleep, four hours. Really, the alarm clock. Hi. <laughs> oh. Good morning, America's here. <gasps> oh my gosh, don't go outside. <laughs> go out the back. Go out the back, man. Um, this is, uh, this is our home. No interest. Siggy. Siggy. He forgot his name. Oh, hi, I'm Marie. <laughs> Hello, Marie, I'm Bob. Ah, uh, yes, this was Bob. Uh, He's a patient. He lives down the road. It's such a good idea to have a patient on with me. It is. It is? Yeah, yeah it's great. It's a great idea. idea. What better way to show the effectiveness of your book than have a patient on with you? Ah, no. Get in there. They're waiting for us. Okay. Okay. Right this way. Don't make me look like a bad guy. Now, clearly, to come on national television live with a patient shows a remarkable amount of confidence in your methods. <laughs> good. <laughs> now, Dr. Marvin, Exactly how does Baby Steps work? Mashed potatoes and gravy, Marie. I couldn't be happier about Baby Steps. I was a total disaster. You know, it sounds like a very intriguing process. Clearly, it only worked that quickly with, with Boop. Bob. You can call <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to call you. Just this book. It's, it's this man. <laughs> it's the compassion. Stay here last night in his jammies. In his jammies? <laughs> Using his toothbrush. Damn, the, the Marvins. This is Faye and Anna and Siggy, whom I went diving with yesterday. I think there's really only three names. Dr. Albert Schweitzer, uh, Mother Teresa of Calcutta, probably, and Leo Marvin. And they love Bob. Hi. You're so nice. You were great, Bob. You really were. You were incredible. Incredible. I mean, Dad choked. You saved him. Mm, mm, mm. Get out! Get out! I get it. He feels hovered over, especially his patient. He's a doctor. Like, come on, we have to be serious, all jokes aside. But this was a hilarious movie. We can say no, that. No, it wasn't. You were wonderful, you sweetie. Were fine. We can't be expected to understand him. He's so far above us. We're like ropes on the Goodyear. Hey. What do you say? Feel like going for a little ride? Do I? I don't think we can trust the doctor. <laughs> He hates us. <laughs> Dr. Marvin to see Dr. Tomsky. It's a Sorry, hospital, hospital. Well, is this the friend you called about? Bob Wiley. I'd like you to meet your new pal, Dr. Tomsky. Hello, Bob. Hello, Miss Catherine. I can only hold him for 24 hours, Leo, without staff corroboration. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not worried about that in the least. I will negotiate and I will compromise the defeat. <laughs> Look how happy he is now. Look 
could have possibly happened in 10 minutes. Giving you back your admitting form, Leo, to save you any embarrassment. Embarrassment? Oh. Catherine, you have been due. Oh, just tell him you won't treat him anymore. Catherine, that's easy for you to say. The man is, is, is human crazy glue. No, you should never have let him sleep in your pajamas, Leo. <laughs> yeah. You'd rather work mornings? <laughs> he didn't even say nothing. Tickets. <laughs> Look, he has a right. Make sure he's home by seven. He's gonna make it to his house before him. I think he's walking home. Oh gosh. It's a whole surprise party. Look at him. You're a mess. Mm -hmm. Are you all right? Oh, yeah, yeah. I just <laughs> had a little car trouble. <laughs> oh, on your birthday? We're all here for you, Dr. M. This is your night. <laughs> Don't touch my sister! Oh, my gosh. She about to fight you now this time. Like, it's been past this point. I'm leaving a prescription for Prozac. Excuse me, Phil, but with these particular symptoms, is Prozac the right choice? I'm gonna stay on and help out the family. I'll just be the daddy. He said, I'll be the daddy. <laughs> Leo's lucky to have you. But we've been thinking that- You gotta go. However irrational the reasons, Leo's just so upset with you. You want me to go? Yeah. I'm sorry. Not really. Bye. Green puking piss ants. Worst vacation ever. Not him breaking his What could he possibly need? He's a human. He's not at the dock. He's not downstairs. I know he's scared. <laughs> it's in the middle of nowhere. Hello? <laughs> As he tries to kill him. It's a guaranteed cure. Wow! Should I put my hands up? Yes, that's good. Do that. I certainly wasn't ready for Mallerstein or, or Miller. You're ready for Dale. <laughs> One of this stuff can blow up a tree stump. There we go. And how much Yikes. is this? Twenty pounds worth. Uh, that you breeze into town and take my family away from me just because. I don't think we can take your family. Oh, it's terrible news, Faye. Well, he did try to commit suicide once before. Maybe we should have seen it coming. More, More fish, fish, anyone? Yeah, this is not a lesson. I'm gonna explode! I mean, it works. But his body about to go to pieces. Like, no. How? <laughs> I'm fine! I'm, I'm fine! I'm fine! I'm fine! Really, thank you for asking. The genius! Your death therapy cured me, you cheat! Oh, what are you doing here? <laughs> boom, boom. Oh my gosh, he just bought that too. Yeah, Bob should have went home. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. <laughs> and they are cheering it on. Leo, sweetie, Leo. Can you I don't hear think he me? Cares anymore. Daddy, it's me. He's married into the family. <laughs> Do you, Bob Wiley, take knows any reason why these two should not Him. be joined together in holy matrimony? Speak now. Announce you, man and wife. No! That's back, Daddy! I'm married, Leo. <laughs> to Bob. Bob went back to school and became. Leo is suing Kim for the rights. <laughs> like, no, let's talk about Bob. Let's talk about Bob. This was comedy on top of comedy. Hilarious. Like, we couldn't stop laughing. I mean, let's get to the realness, though. A patient and the therapist, the doctor. No way, shape, or form should it go this far. Ever. Ever. And if it did, yes, it will be a little concerning. Just a little. Um, Bob wouldn't stop. He wouldn't leave us alone. That's why the other therapist quit his firm like he said I'm done and that's why he sent Bob to you because Bob scared him away from his job from his firm like he didn't even want to be a doctor no more
<laughs> I'm done with it. Bob drove him crazy. Through the movie, he drove me crazy too. I'm not even gonna lie. As much as Dr. Leo drove me crazy too. I mean, for real. The family, reason why Leo in the hospital at the end of the movie, we gonna blame it on kind of the family too because he been told Bob to go. At one point, Bob should have left. I mean, he slipped over. He told him to leave then. He told him the first day he was yelling as soon as he got off the bus to the town. He told Bob to leave then. The whole week, the whole vacation, he was there. Bob even went on a vacation. It became Leo, the family, and Bob's vacation all in one. <laughs> I mean, let's be serious. But overall, it was funny. It was hilarious. Could I rewatch this? Yes, I definitely could. Shout out to American Mom. She told me about this one. So we reacted to it. We checked it off the list. We explored it for the first time. Let me know. Did it let let me know did it make you laugh? I would probably give this an 80 out of a 10 because it was hilarious. Now, at one point, yeah, it did get annoying because Bob wouldn't stop. Mr. Leo wouldn't, Dr. Leo, he he kept getting mad and upset. And again, I have to understand why. But then on Bob's part, it's just like, Bob doesn't want to be alone either. But again, that's not his therapist's job. His therapist is just to hear his feelings and give his opinions. And yeah, this one just, it just went flipped backwards, like, a whole 360 it's not the way he planned he really thought he was gonna go on vacation in peace and that's not what happened it turned into a disaster i mean look at the house we don't even have our vacation house no more like nothing nada nothing nada okay let me know down in the comments did it make you laugh how do you feel do you have the same reactions and we explore this one we can check it off the list and if it makes it to youtube don't forget to smash like button you guys and hit that red one fully thrash will be in the link down description and let's explore more